G'day all, welcome to Southern Cross Amateur Astro and our video user guides for Astro Photography Tool where this one we're going to be looking at the Meridian Flip and its settings in Session Craft. So let's get straight into it. Now automatic Meridian Flips are controlled by the very top section of Session Craft so I'm just going to minimise these other two so they're out of the way. And what you've got here is pretty basic, it's uh, a checkbox here to enable the automatic Meridian Flips. Uh, just so you know, you won't be able to edit your uh, Meridian Flip settings while it's enabled. You'll be able to go in and look at them, but you will not be able to actually edit them. So if you need to change them, make sure you turn this off. Then you have your button here for flip, and this can um, allows you to do a flip manually rather than using the automatic. Uh, you just hit flip and it will do it exactly the same, just starting it when you start it. And then you have your status window. At the moment, it's just on monitoring. Uh, when it gets closer to your meridian flip times, it'll go for you know, for its countdown. You know, preparing. It'll do um, your plate solving to get your position and everything else. Uh, and it'll have a countdown for when it's actually going to do the flip. Now we'll go into the settings here. Um, I'm going to have to quickly re. I'll put these back to the defaults because. Uh, my settings aren't uh, ones you'd normally use I've spent a lot of time organizing don't use my settings if you saw them there unless you've done what you need to do beforehand I will be doing an in-depth video later on which explains how I've come up with my um, timings and everything else but uh, don't use them as your default otherwise things are likely to go wrong and there is always the chance of your equipment getting damaged as well so I'll go into that later now the flip moment, this is the time before or after if you use a negative number but in default it's before the mount reaches the meridian that APT will stop imaging, stop guiding, stop tracking and plate solve to get the target position. Um, this is the minimum time, the maximum time depends on the uh, length of your exposures. Now if your exposure finishes and the next exposure will take you past this uh, time, so past five minutes before the meridian, APT will not start a new image. It will stop there and do its preparations at that time. So if you're doing say three minute exposures, it could be any time between five minutes and eight minutes. Um, if an exposure starts eight minutes and one seconds before this time, it will take that exposure and you'll lose five minutes and one second. If the exposure stops you know, a few seconds after that, uh, for that mark for your three minute exposures, so I'd say stops at seven and a half minutes from Meridian, it will not start a new exposure, it will stop there. So this is a minimum time, the maximum time is the length of your exposures. Now the flip delay move, this is how long APT waits to do the actual flip. Um, if you have delays counted after the meridian passing, this time will be five minutes past the meridian. So it will stop at its flip moment time and then wait until it gets this limit past the meridian to uh, do the actual flip and that's what that is there. Now if you're not using delays counted after the meridian passing, uh, it, it was just the difference between the top figure and the bottom figure. So if you have like the five minutes here and you have the delay fit move without the delay being counted, it will wait five minutes after that position there. So if you wanted to emulate the same as what you get when delay flip is counted, you'd need to enter 10 in here. But uh, it's easier just to count it after the meridian has passed. That makes it easier. So with those settings, those top three settings you have there, so you, it'll stop five minutes minimum before the meridian comes, set everything up for the flip, and then it'll wait until five minutes after the meridian and do the actual flip, plate solve, and get you back on target and start imaging again. So in this situation, it would be between 10 minutes and your exposure length that the mount will actually be stopped. 
after that you have the uh, blind solve after flip this is up to you it really depends on how good your mount is and how accurate you think it's going to be after the flip um, I generally don't do it I just leave it on near solving rather than blind solve but if your mount is not that accurate you may want to set it on blind solve after after flip uh, recalibrate pH 2 after flip this is sort of a legacy setting it is no longer needed and I advise you not to do it especially if you're trying to automate things um, one reason is because at times uh, PHD2 will pick a star right next to the edge of the of its image to use for calibration and of course move the star off the uh, out of the image and calibration fails but that's one reason not to use it but it is no longer required I suggest not using it then you have your minimum flip move duration and this is just to make sure your mount actually does a flip depending on how your mount is set up um, there is the possibility of it instead of actually doing a flip just moving a bit more to the west and you know saying yeah okay I'm on the target again uh, without actually doing a flip but uh, by setting this here this allows it to uh, it has to take 15 seconds at least to do a flip um, I've never had problems using this particular setting here but uh, that's just to make sure it does a flip and doesn't just move to the other location and another way to help overcome that type of thing is the force flip by a go to so rather than um, just giving it a flip command it will tell it to go to a particular location so I recommend having that on it does solve a lot of problems so I'd leave that one on there um, try to skip delay this has been disabled um, I don't know when it becomes available if it ever comes available I don't know um, but uh, no you just can't do anything of that anyway at the moment but that's how it works so a minimum of five minutes before the meridian it will prepare for the flip uh, by getting your position and everything and then five minutes after the meridian it'll actually do the flip so that's how that works there and generally these default settings that you have in here will work for most people um, really you don't want to be changing these too much unless you know what you're doing I'll be going into a bit of a deep dive video soon I hope uh, well, I explain how I come up with my settings and what I do with my settings and how I get them and you know, what it all means. Um, one thing I do advise is don't disable your mounts um, limits. I don't like that idea. A lot of places people will suggest, oh, you're having flip troubles. Turn off your mount uh, limits and you know, find your flips may start working but there's always an issue of something going wrong and your image your equipment getting damaged because your mount hasn't flipped as it should have um, I'll go into all that in the other video generally these settings will be fine I know with EQ mod uh, the default mount limit is I think three minutes after the uh, meridian passes so these settings will be fine I don't know what it is with other mounts but I'm guessing they'd be similar so that's what you have there um, once you've done that you can click OK I'm going to click cancel because I want to go back to my original settings so I can have that uh, once you've done that you need to turn on the automatic meridian flip and when you click this button it will pop up a warning to make sure uh, to warn you to make sure you know what you're doing read up watch videos whatever to make sure you know what enabling it means for your gear so I just click yes there and now it'll monitor my automatic meridian flips uh, you see the little flashing AMF, AMF at the top of the status window and that just means that uh, your automatic meridian flips are enabled so that's what you've got there and that's it for automatic meridian flips it's not that hard um, it's just if you're going to change the defaults make sure you know what you're doing before you do it um, like I said the deep dive video will be coming out soon and you may find something interesting in that that will help you change things but I'm going to finish this one up for now uh, thank you all for watching I wish you clear skies and I will see you in the next video take care all